I wanted to come live to just talk about something that happened today. I took my dog to the vet and we had to wait outside. And the attendant came out and one thing led to the other and then she was uh, ringing me up. And there was just some things that as a person that checks things out with credit cards that she should have probably have known, but she didn't. And I could just feel myself getting agitated. And I could feel myself going into my jersey, like complaining and just kind of this vibe. So she went in to check on how to do something, how to, you know, pay, how to get me to pay. And I just took a moment. I just took a moment to find my heart again. And I was like, this is not what I want to give to her. I don't want to give this to the planet. So this video, this live is just all about checking in. And we always hear about the power of pause, right? The power of pause is really important, but it's not possible unless you are really practicing every day, listening within, taking your own pause throughout the day. Uh, doing a meditation practice, doing a toning practice. These type of personal practices, they, they build a bridge so that you are able to take this pause. And I had another opportunity <laughs> later in the day when I have, to, I have to move my teen somewhere. He's moving back into the house and he... Uh, we have to kind of move a lot of things around in the house and he's not really wanting to put the work in that's required. And here I am going into movie mode and overdoing and stuff. And I, I was able to take a pause and let him know, hey, this is what's up. I'm putting a lot of time into my day and taking time off to do this for you. I would like something given back and I'd like to see some cooperation. Now in the past... I wouldn't have been able to take that pause and even realize how much I was overgiving and not giving him a chance to step up into leadership. So today has been a great day to just live consciously in the moment and to take a look at the ability I have lately to pause. Take a take a, a fresh look, kind of pull myself outside of myself and look at myself, kind of creating the witness of myself, pausing and saying, hmm, okay, this is what's happening. This is where we are. This is how uh, this is unfolding. And here are your choices to go into an old habit body of overwhelm, frustration, and impatience, or to do something different. Tune into my heart, tune into some patience, tune into uh, looking at some of my needs here and communicating them in a light way. And so that felt really good today and I thought I would come on and share because I feel like this is what we really require in the world right now is learning how to take that, that pause, taking a breath and looking at the choices we have. And I know so many people say, just, just pause, take a breath. And it's really hard to do that. And I, I'm here to tell you, it's really hard. It's really hard to take that pause and take a breath if you are not marin marinating yourself daily in a personal practice of meditation, of toning, of just certain clearing um, exercises. So don't get on your case if you're like, why can't I take this pause? Why can't I? You got to backtrack a little bit. What we practice, we become. So what will you commit to practicing every day to build that bridge so that pause becomes doable? That pause becomes the habit to take a look at the choices. Old habit new habit, light, heavy. So uh, anyway, this was uh, really made my day because after sitting with 
myself in the car and, and working through this thing with the, the vet um, and the checkout, I really could feel the possibility of choosing to kind of keep going into that kind of aggravated Jersey coat, Jersey Shore type of uh, habit that I tend to have. Um, and I could feel like what that would have felt like in my heart for the rest of the day. And I was really grateful that I was able to shift it and choose patience and kindness and choose lightness. And I could really feel how that felt in my heart and how that was a domino effect of energy throughout the whole day. Now, it was later in the day that I had to work, take the second pause with my team. Now, this is how the domino effect works. If I did not take that pause and kind of created that agitation with the, with the vet and the person checking me out, I would have held on to that frequency and most likely would not have, have dealt with my team in the graceful way that I did. And so instead, I was able to take the pause, choose for the lightness, and then when it happened again later in the day, I, I chose for the lightness and chose to stay calm and patient with my son. But in the past, I could see how these energies just start building up on each other. So what energy do you want to build up on it, on, it, on, your trip, blah, blah, on each other? So like, you know, impatience and aggravation builds up and then it domino effects into the rest of your day. So I was really grateful that I was able to catch this thing with the vet and that I could build up patience and lightness to work through something that was a little challenging with my teen with patience and lightness. Does that make sense? Yeah. So um, that is a win for me today. <laughs> and I thought I would share. And it's these personal practices that I just stay dedicated to that I'm really starting to see the flower, the blossoms of my, my efforts and of my practice. Uh, and teens and kids in general give us this, raising a family gives us those moments to work on every day. And um, if we're living consciously and as conscious creators of our day and our lives, uh, we choose to take a look. Now, sometimes earlier in the game, we may take a look in retrospect. We may lay in our bed that night being like, hmm, wish I could have dealt with that differently. Um, and when you study the Course in Miracles, uh, they call that the miracle moment. The moment you realize that there was another choice. And the more you live with that consciousness, the more the gap closes, right? And then in the moment you realize, oh, there's another choice. But sometimes, you know, you don't realize it until like a week later. Sometimes you don't realize it until 12 hours later. Sometimes you don't realize it until an hour or 15 minutes later. But eventually you close that gap of becoming aware of how you handled the situation, what habit body you were, you were uh, reacting from, or if you wanted to choose something different and, and respond with patience. And as you close the gap and close the gap, you start realizing right in that moment, and that's when you can take that power pause, and that's when you get to make a choice right then and there for something different. And that really accumulates that energy in your life. So that's all I really wanted to say today. Um, I just lived it in two different instances today. And I thought it could be helpful to hear that. So beautiful people, the power pause is wonderful. But unless you have some personal practice, daily practice, that bridge uh, isn't created and the power pause becomes a little harder to do, but that's okay. Even if you become aware of it a week later or um, a day later, you still are doing the work and you are gonna decrease that gap. And the goal is to kind of decrease the gap so that you can really take that power pause right in the moment and notice that you have a choice for your lightness all the time. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is just the potency that's required. So sometimes the potency that's required and to, to be the, the biggest kindness actually sometimes is a raised voice or is being a little snarky. But 
the thing is, you can be that potency without reactivity and re- without being attached. So sometimes, like, you know, Raising Teens is a really good example, um, teen boys anyway, um, they need a, like a louder voice. They need something to wake them up a little bit. And so if I can say, you know, hey, in more of a stern, louder voice, something, uh, without having like the aggravation or overwhelm behind it, but I know that that voice and that kind of uh, energy is going to get them to wake up a little bit to get to the next thing, I can do that. But being the potency of something doesn't mean that you are hooked in and reactive to you know a past old kind of heavy habit. And so it's okay to raise your voice. It's okay to be stern. It's okay to curse if that's the potency that's required. But what you don't want to do is be reactive and have that be coming from a pain body. You want to be doing it consciously and intentionally to create the potency right then and there. So that's a little aside from there. But all of this is done with choice and response to uh, creating something lighter in your life. All right, beautiful people. That's all I really wanted to say today. Have a beautiful, beautiful day.